Welcome to the video series, This or That, produced by UF, IFAS Extension, Pinellas County. This series helps residents and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Have you ever been walking in a park at dawn or dusk and noticed a larger bird standing or walking stealthily in the grass or perched on a log or up in a tree and wondered, is that a black-crowned or a yellow-crowned night heron? Well, you're not alone. The two similar looking species are often confused, but with knowledge of a few key distinctions can be easily distinguished. First of all, a bit of anatomy. The crown of a bird is the topmost part of its head, and the easiest way to differentiate between these two nocturnal herons is to look at its head. The black crown night heron has, you guessed it, a completely black crown with only a small white patch that runs like a unibrow horizontally above its bill between its eyes, and its cheeks and neck are also white. In contrast, the yellow crown night heron, while having a mostly black head, actually has a light yellow crown, or essentially a mohawk pattern light yellow strip, as well as distinct white cheek patches. Next, if you look at the bird's back, the black crown night heron's back is completely black, whereas the back of the yellow crown night heron is gray with thin black streaking. Both species will produce long, thin, attractive plumes extending from the back of the head when fully adult. Differentiating the juveniles of each species can be trickier, as they both have mottled plumage. The key lies in observing the bill. Juvenile black crowned night herons have a partially yellow bill, whereas the juvenile yellow crowned night herons have a nearly all black bill. While both species can be seen throughout all of Florida, we can enjoy black crowned night herons year round. Yellow crowned night herons, however, only bless us with their presence in the spring during mating season. Unless you are in east central to south Florida, where the yellow crowned night heron sticks around all year. One final observation a black crowned night heron often tucks its neck back into its body to create a hunchback look while standing. With awareness of these few differences, we hope you are now able to recognize between these two interesting night herons. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from your UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County office. And if you learned something today, please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel.